constructed DFA to accept a language L equal to W where W mod phi is equal to 0. So if this is modulo problem with uh, this is mod phi equal to 0. It's a modulo problem. So the possible reminders of phi, first we should identify the number of states of the DFA. To identify the number of states of the DFA, first we should write the reminders of this phi. What are the possible reminders of phi? 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. It means the automata is having 5 different states starting from Q0 to Q4. So what we do, we write like a chain like how I discussed in the previous videos. Q0 and the alphabet set has two symbols. So Q1 on reading A or B, it goes to the next state Q2. Then on reading A or B, it goes to the next state Q3 and the fourth state Q4 on reading A or B. And always we write like a loop chain. So from Q4 on reading A or B, it comes back to the state Q0. Now here, W mod phi is equal to 0. Now I should identify my final state. In which state my uh, reminder is 0. See, always Q0 state will be holding the reminder 0. Q1 state will be having reminder 1, reminder 2, 3 and 4 mod phi reminder is 4. 4 mod phi is 4 in the state Q4. So now which will be my uh, uh, which will be my stay, final state where W mod phi should be equal to 0. If my string is 0 mod phi, 0 mod phi is 0. And if it is phi mod of phi, phi mod phi is 0. Or if I take 10 mod phi, 10 mod phi is 0. If I take 1 mod phi, what is 1 mod phi? 1 mod phi is 1. 2 mod 5, if I take 2 mod 5 is 2. 3 mod 5 is 3. 4 mod 5 is 4. If it is 6 mod 5, 6 mod 5 is again 1. 7 mod 5 means it is 2. Now, which are the strings where this mod 5 equal to 0? That is 0 mod 5, 5 mod 5, 10 mod 5, 15 mod 5, which are multiples of 5. Only in this only, this reminder mod of 5 will be 0. So which is the state where the reminder is 0? Reminder is 0 in this Q0 state. So Q0 should be our final state. So the starting state itself will be the final state when the string of mod 5 is equal to 0. So the starting state and the final state is same for this mod 5 equal to 0. W mod 5 equal to 0. Construct a DFA to accept a language L equal to W where W mod 5 not equal to 0. Now same as previous modulo 3, now we are doing mod 5. So here mod 5, the length of the string mod 5 should not be equal to 0. So what we do, first we write all possible reminders of 5. So what are the possible reminders we should start to identify the state start from 0. So here the reminders of 5 are 0. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So here these are all the possible reminders of 5. So construct the DFA like a cycle starting from Q0 to Q4. Starting from Q0 to Q4 for any inputs A and B. So here from Q0 on reading A or B it goes to the state Q1. For We have to write 5 states here since it is mod 5. So from Q1 on reading A or B, it goes to Q2. From Q2 on reading A or B, it goes to Q3. And from Q3 on reading A or B, it goes to Q4. Now, like a chain from Q4 on reading A or B, it goes to Q0. It should come like a cycle. So, it goes to, on reading A or B from Q4, it goes to Q0. See here, in this case, the reminder is of mod 5 is 0 in this state. And here it is 1. And here it is 2. And the remainder is 3 here. And the remainder is 4 in the Q4 state. Now, W mod 5 should not be equal to 0. 
In which state the remainder will be zero? Just if we observe here, W mod phi should not be equal to zero means in the state Q not only the remainder will be always zero. In the other state the remainder is one, two, or three or four. So in this state the remainder is zero. That is, if I have zero mod phi, zero mod phi is zero. The remainder is zero. Zero mod phi equal to zero. If it is one mod phi, one mod phi is one. Two mod phi, if if I take the remainder is two. Three mod phi, if I take the remainder is three. So four mod phi, the remainder is four. Five mod phi, remainder is zero. Six mod phi, remainder is one. If it is seven mod phi, remainder is two. Eight mod phi, remainder is three. Nine mod phi. Remainder is four. Ten mod five. Remainder is zero. So it means whenever I have multiples of five, that is five, ten, fifteen, twenty, I'll be having the remainder as zero. So the condition here is the DFA should accept the strings where W mod five, string length of mod five, should not be equal to zero. Whenever it is multiples of five, the string has to be rejected. Other than that, if it is two mod five or three mod five or four mod five, the string has to be accepted. Three or four mod five or five or uh, here six mod five or seven mod five, eight or nine, it should be accepted, except which are multiples of five, zero, five, ten, fifteen, etc. So now, how to identify my final state? Like already I told, this Q one state will represent remainder one, Q two state will represent remainder two. Apart from zero. Remaining all the strings have to be accepted, so the DFA will be having four different final states. The automata here, the machine will be having four different final states. That is Q1 with remainder one, Q2 with remainder two, Q3 with remainder three, and Q4 with remainder four. So this is an automata to accept a language. W where W mod phi is not equal to zero. The length of the string mod phi should not be equal to zero. So in this state, it is not equal to zero. So this will be accepting strings of two mod phi or three mod phi and so on.